Namaste, this is Ariella Halevi, Master Healer at Soul Center. So in this video, we're gonna talk about today to how to find the medicine of your own heart. A while ago, I was experiencing some physical symptoms that could not be explained by Western medicine. On paper, I was fine, right? I, but I, in reality, I was sleepless. I um, was intensely anxious and some other symptoms led me to explore deeper into my body for more answers. Inside of this space, I rediscovered the medicine of my own heart. So I wholeheartedly believe in Western medicine. It worked for me. It led me to some genetic markers that I had to look at. It led me to some awakenings that I needed to be aware of in my body. But after a year of searching, I found the answers right through my own body and my own heart, my own medicine. I finally explored these physical issues I was having with a more emotional, energetic lens. Um, typically, I always go for the more emotional, energetic lens, but for whatever reason, I had to go physical first. And once I sat down with my, my emotions and my spirit and let my body speak, I found the pathway to my own healing. So I believe wholeheartedly in, from professional experience and very personal experience that the way to healing there's many pathways, but the way to healing is through the medicine that we all have in our own hearts, right? Truthfully, it's very simple, yet our humanness and our, the lessons that we need to learn sometimes cause us to go in circles or go on longer pathways than we would like. But when we connect to that medicine in our hearts, um, in another video, I'm going to talk about our center. Really, the medicine is the center of your being. When we connect to the medicine of our own hearts, we evoke the spirit within. The universe, the divine feminine, whatever you call her, she doesn't live outside of you. She lives inside of your own being. And so when we connect to that medicine, that knowing of who we are, then we connect to the spirit within. And so ask yourself, what speaks to me? What does my heart long for? A lot of us that have physical symptoms or just things going on, maybe not even physical, we forget to ask ourselves those questions. What does my heart long for? And your heart and your guides and spirit and your ancestors are right here waiting. And they offer us a unique healing path that is right inside of you. It's unique because it is yours. It isn't the person next to you. It isn't your friend down the street. It's not even your doctors. Although again, Western medicine has a beautiful space and place, but the healing first and the answers first come from within. The answers are never outside of us. Our pathway to healing is always buried deep inside of our own being. And it is potent, as I said, because it's yours. And so once we understand that the miracles within us, the magic lies within us, the pathways and the puzzle pieces will start to, to fit and show up. Now, again, it depends on what kind of healing we're looking for. We never can um, know exactly what kind of medicine is here for us. It's not always pretty. The pathway I was on for so long, it seemed like an eternity. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't wrapped up in a little beautiful bow and handed to me and said, here you go. I had to go through a lot of crazy routes, a lot of pain, a lot of tears, quite honestly, and a lot of sitting with my being and my body and my spirit to determine what was the best route for me to find my answers and to look within my own heart. And so ask yourself again, what does my heart need? What is my body and my spirit and my life calling to me at this moment? For me, my pathway has always been finding my answers through quiet. I wake up super early in the morning. If that's not your style, you can go to bed late, but I like to wake up when nobody's up. I like to wake up before the world begins and I can hear the, the whisperings of my own soul, that center, much easier when nobody else is awake. I like to take my dog for a walk in nature. Every single day we go out to the field near us and I can hear the longings of my heart from that space. I like to put my feet in the mud and the dirt and get out in nature, even if it's five minutes to build up and soak in the ionic um, waves of the earth. It's called earthing simply by taking our feet, our shoes off and just sitting in the earth and standing in the earth and just really being for a few minutes. So 
in these spaces, you can hear your heart's longing, but you have to figure out what works for you. What is the best connection? Those connections work for me. I highly suggest them, but what works for you? With this space that you give yourself, the time that you give yourself, you can then trust the messages that are coming through. Because speaking from experience, outside resources are beautiful once we have determined what it is that our own heart needs. Otherwise, it's just noise, right? And so my prayer and my hope and my, my longing for all of us, for our whole world, is to discover the magic and the medicine of our own hearts, to listen to our own pathways and do what's best for our own souls, our own bodies, and in the result to gain the deepest healing in body, heart, and soul. So your greatest dreams can come true and the most beautiful love occurs. Again, it's not always pretty, but it is always, always deeply beautiful and deeply meaningful. And so if you're interested in learning more about this and how to discover the magic and the medicine that's inside of your own heart, join me this month uh, for the Healing Circle, June 13th at 6 p.m. Mountain Time on Zoom. This is a different time than we usually meet. We usually meet the first Monday of every month, but because of some summer vacations, we're going to meet June 13th, also July 18th. So little difference in time. So if you haven't signed up for that healing circle yet, we're going to put the, the link in the comments. Um, but otherwise, join me. We're going to have a beautiful hour of some guidance and teaching, some intuitive guidance, some messages from beyond. And then you're going to be able to ask your deepest questions. What are your deepest longings? What are you hoping for? What are you dreaming about? You're going to receive intuitive guidance from your divine team and my divine team. So join us June 13th, 6 p.m. Mountain Time on Zoom. And have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste.